All right, hello. It's that time of year again. No, I'm not talking about Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween. It's uh, it's preseason. The season just ended, I believe, today. So now they released a 14,000 word uh, patch notes for 10.23. And uh, I'm going to go over all of it. Or at least just read most of it, you know? I, I might get lazy like halfway through, I don't know. So this will be a long one. We're just going to chill, okay? We're, we're just going to go through stuff, right? So three people worked on this. Very cool. All right, here's a video. Let's react to it. Mythic Forge unlocks all new ways to master your favorite champions. Now with Mythic items, you have more builds, play styles, and team strategies to choose from which means more variety from game to game. You can find these mythic items as well as new and updated legendaries in the fully redesigned item shop. Here, the recommended tab simplifies item buying no matter who you're playing or who you're playing against, serving you suggestions based on your current item build and team matchup. Discover a host of new mythics, legendaries, and more over in the all items tab. Here, you can filter items by stats, class, popularity, or price and get fast access to consumables, boots, and player inventory in the quick buy sidebars. Each game, you'll choose one mythic item to form the core of your build and adapt your champion to whatever dangers lie ahead. Whether you need added protection while roaming solo, require some extra mobility, or wanna crank up the damage, Mythics provide your champ a new level of customization, meaning your item build has more impact on every game. The same goes for any class. Mid lane mages looking for some extra setup power, assassins picking off enemies one by one, or bruisers who like to bully lane and get away with it. With new high powered items and a fully streamlined shop, this preseason brings everything you need to level up your game. Learn more about all Mythic Forge updates at the links below. All right, very cool, very cool. So, um, they showed off a lot of the items. New shop did go over it a bit ago uh, in a previous video. Um, they use Jinx a lot. I just want I just want to let y'all notice that they use Jinx a lot. Jinx is now the main icon for uh, the new League Wild Rift. Uh, they're using her instead of I believe it was Ezreal and Ziggs. Uh, Jinx is just a bit more marketable, I suppose. So here is a basic breakdown of 10.23, new mythic items, item updates. So Gwinsu's changed. Gwinsu's like is a little bit cheaper now. Um, some new skins, Victorious Lucian. If you got gold or above, you got Victorious Lucian. And depending on which rank you ended up with, you'd get a chroma for each of those ranks. So if you had masters, right, you'd get a masters chroma and everything below, I believe, right? Uh, Battlecast Nasus did a video on that. Battlecast Zack did a video on that. Resistance Jace, uh, I decided to not do that because I have no mechanics. I'm not a great player. So it would have been very, very cringe. <laughs> it would have been bad. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been good. Um, Resistance Singed, we did, I think, two videos on that, maybe one. I think I ditched one of them because it was just like a full tank singed, and that was kind of whatever. Uh, new item shop, right? Very, very cool. And we're going to keep going. So, here's the new item shop. Uh, they mention, you know, the suggested items, all items you can filter through and everything else. And item sets, which you still have to make yourself. Uh, or you can import, right? Uh, I feel like... You know, item sets are very, very underrated. Some people don't use it, um, but it's easier. Like if you go to like Mobifier, right? You, you don't always need to have the guide open. You can actually put a lot of that information into your item set, including not just items, but like little descriptions on like how much this costs, like when you should go this, you know, if they're more AD, you go for this, right? Item sets are very, very nice. Um, this is just breaking down all the panels and such, right? Uh, it's a, it's sort of similar to the previous item shop where um, you could just click on tabs, right? Attack damage, crit, and then it would show up with the items. Uh, very similar, uh, just making it a little easier, uh, a little bit more visual rather than just a bunch of words, right? For for someone coming into the game, uh, looking at this is pretty like, okay, well this is like hitting and this is hitting and this is like going through armor it seems, right? Like So it's very like... 
it's easier to pick up, which I, I think is, uh, that's the, the purpose is that they're making it a lot easier to navigate through the shop. Um, cause I know, at least for me, I had to look up builds. Okay. Sometimes I'm not really sure what I should be building on say like Jax, right? He used to be hybrid and then he went, he went AP and then there was another thing with like Gunblade and another thing like Triforce and like, there's a bunch of stuff, right? A lot of variety. And so I would just look up a build instead, uh, instead of like exploring it by myself. So with the recommended tab and with these uh, more visual, uh, obvious looking things for like little icons uh, for the item shop, it's going to make it at least a little bit easier to uh, use, right? So mythic items are new. Uh, they're one tier above legendaries, right? But you can only have one, okay? You can only have one mythic item uh per game you can obviously swap it out if you really decide on uh you want to lose that gold but uh this is just a breakdown of everything right gale force gives you a dash right and also shoots out little 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 things to uh uh the lowest hp enemy little three missiles right here three missiles um most people are going to be picking this up for adcs who are against a lot of skill shots, especially ones that are very, very spooky, right? So I'm thinking Zoe, right? I'm thinking uh, maybe Jarvan, right? You can just dash out. Very nice. Um, I haven't seen it used too much on PBE thus far, uh, but we'll have to see though. Uh, majority of the time, we are running into Immortal Shield Bow, which is which we'll cover in just a bit. Kraken Slayer, we did a video on it, uh, did an Urgot video on it, Basically every three autos, you do true damage, bonus, which is quite nice because it scales with AD, right? So think of vein passive, except it's not doing percentage, it's doing a flat amount plus some of your AD. Uh, gives attack speed, gives a little bit of crit. It's very nice. I, I like it. I think it's good. Um, obviously, it's sort of situational in the way like, you know, you're not going to be building it for the extra damage. You're going to be building it so that, like, the Malphite with 500 armor actually takes a little bit of damage from you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, onto Immortal Shield Bow. I liken this to uh, Sterix and Phantom Dancer. Essentially, when you drop below 30% HP, you get a shield. Gets to 700, by the way. I just want you to look at that, right? And you also get 15% lifesteal. Um, this is what I've been seeing most common out of every other ADC item is Immortal Shield Bow. It's very safe. It gives good stats, right? It's overall just really, really good because it gives sustain. It gives, you know, anti-burst, right? And you still, like, you, you get to survive and deal your damage that you, you, you can, right? So... Uh, it's rather nice. I, I recommend it. Um, I recommend using it more than anything else. Gale Force, I feel, it is the weakest out of all of them. Uh, then it'd be Kraken, then Immortal Shield Bow. Um, like for Samira, Shield Bow. Okay? Anyways, onwards. So, tank items now. Sunfire Aegis. Think of Sunfire. But after a certain point, you start exploding, right? All of your, like the, the already burning Sunfire damage, it also uh, burns more, right? Increased damage, okay? When you're in battle, it deals more damage. Um, it's just like a good tank item and provides damage, right? This doesn't come with anything else. Um, so health, armor, magic resist, and ability haste, which is kind of new. Uh, Sunfire didn't give cooldown reduction before, but now since they reworked cooldown reduction, it's now ability haste. Um, so you can actually go past 40 and you'll be fine. Uh, it's sort of like diminishing returns. So if you were to go like to 100 ability haste for some reason, it'd probably give you like 60% CDR, right? Or like maybe 50%. I'm not really sure, but we can, it, they probably mentioned that at some point. Frostfire Gauntlet. Um, so it has the Sunfire passive, all right? The burn. And um, every, I think every, what? Every 1.5 seconds, what, no, every 4 seconds, an auto attack, your next auto attack will slow, right? It doesn't do some extra damage, but it 
slows, okay? So it's good for locking down someone, especially a more mobile ADC that runs around you. If you just auto them once, you know, just smack them upside the head, right? They get slowed a bit and it scales with HP. So it's quite nice. Uh, I, I like seeing it on maybe a, uh, what, Maokai? Maokai wouldn't be bad. He kind of locks people down anyway. Anyone that doesn't, ha like, has a little bit of trouble getting kited, I recommend Frostfire Gauntlet. I've I've actually been using it a little bit um, compared to Sunfire Aegis. There's a, you get less HP, all right? You get more armor, okay? And uh, you get a little bit less magic resist, same CDR, okay? So it's fine. So Turbo Chem Take is actually kind of interesting. Um, all three of the tank items have the Sunfire passive, so they all have they all build from Bomby Cinder, and they burn. Uh, this one, Turbo Chem Tank, someone told me is a singed reference because Turbo Chem Tank, right? And uh, it's essentially what Righteous Glory. It's the new Righteous Glory. So you get 75% movement speed towards enemy champions, and when you're near them, it explodes in a shockwave that slows them all. Right? So it's literally just Righteous Glory. Right, less HP overall, less armor, more magic resist. Uh, this is more for hard engaging uh, versus like a mage, right? You're against a, a Syndra or something or Lux, you know, you just run them down. Okay, yeah, but it, it's just righteous glory, a um, bit more anti mage. So, yeah, so now onwards to assassin items. Oh boy, um, dust blade essentially when you get a kill, right? Here, here we go. Uh, dealing, uh, attacking an enemy, right, deals bonus damage, slows them by 99% for 0.25 seconds, so think of like a trundle Q, okay, it slows them for like a little bit, very, very fast, and if uh, the champion dies within 3 seconds, right, not just like when you damage them, you also go in invisible. I like seeing this on uh, assassins, so... I don't really think it's that great on Zed. Not that Zed doesn't benefit that well. It's that he doesn't have that sort of like sustained damage throughout a fight, right? I, I, I'd see it more on Kha'Zix, maybe a Talon, right? You you kill someone, right? You insta-gib someone, and then you reset, walk, either walk away or walk further into the enemy. They don't know where you are because you're invisible, right? And then you go again, all right? Kha'Zix is really good, right? You go invisible and you come back, get your passive back up, be able to auto. Double double slowing or whatever, right? It's just a lot of damage you can reset. I saw a Lethality Rek'Sai the other day. Uh, not, not really... <laughs> not really that great. Um, but definitely you'll be seeing this a uh, pretty decent amount. Uh, Eclipse is my favorite. Uh, Eclipse... Um, essentially is like a mini electrocute in a way, right? So hitting a champion with two separate basic attacks or abilities within 1.5 seconds deals 8% max HP physical damage, gives you 30% movement speed and 150 plus 40% bonus AD shield, right? And then it's reduced for ranged, right? So this is good for a burst, right? They actually nerfed this like crazy. They had to keep nerfing it. I think it was originally at... 16% max HP, but it was just, it was kind of nuts on literally everyone who is AD, right? So like, Xin Zhao would literally just E auto, and that would just, that proc it, right? Uh, Lucian would be like auto Q, or Q auto, whatever, E auto, like, you know, right? That's all they needed to do to proc Eclipse, which also gave the movement speed and a shield. So it was disgusting, okay? Absolutely disgusting. Right, but uh, I think it's great. I think it's good. Um, definitely benefits more on casters, right? You'll see it on Talon. You'll probably see it on Talon. You'll, you'll probably coin flip between uh, Dustblade and Eclipse for Talons, right? Zed might go Eclipse, right? You know, if he lands the, the EQ or whatever, right? I think it's pretty solid. I like it. Ah, Prowler's Claw. So this one, um, essentially you just dash through someone and it does damage, right? And then you do bonus damage to them for a bit. Um, I saw this against a Riven, 
Okay, Riven with this is kind of crazy. Uh, Riven with lethality means she's very confident that she's going to kill someone, right? And this can actually be used to uh, continue and engage. So she can start off with like a EQ stun, whatever, right? Threading in autos, okay? And then as they're running away, you can use Prowler's Claw to stick onto them. This is very, very good for sticking onto people, right? They just try to run. No, they're not running. Or you can use it as an engage, sort of like an AD version of uh, DFG, right? DFG would increase your damage against that champion. This is the same thing. Um, saw it on a Rengar, pretty good, okay? Saw it on Riven, also very, very annoying. Wouldn't stop sticking onto you, you can't really run unless you CC them, right? This is good for just kind of locking someone down. Um, not great in team fights unless you use it to like somehow escape. Ah, it doesn't dash very far, so it, it's good for, you know, killing people, but if you want to do anything other than that, like survive, Maybe go for that Dust Blade. Or maybe Eclipse. Alright, on to the AP items. Leandre's Anguish, we played... God, how many games did we play? We played so many games of Leandre's. Um, AP items, in my opinion, are a bit lackluster this preseason. I feel like there could be more going on. But they're fine. They're good. They're good, okay? Leandre's Anguish, dealing damage with abilities, causes them to burn 4% max HP plus flat, right, for 4 seconds. So, same time as Singed Q, which also lasts 4 seconds, right? It also gives you Magic Pen per second, and it stacks um, to 25%, so it kind of is like a mini Void Staff with it. Um, yeah, good for damage over time, good for poke. Definitely going to be seeing it on Singed, right? If you're going for, you know, Rai Laundries. Um, I don't know if Rai Leandries is that good anymore um, compared to Leandries and then, like, other items. Uh, Leandries still is the same, essentially, right? 30% slow. Um, it's just that it's so far off of, like... Like, it doesn't give you anything other than that, all right? It, gives, it still gives the AP and, you know, HP... And then it has the slow and that's it. Every other item in the game so far has so much more than that. You know, they got, it's got like magic pen plus AP plus like a burn plus like, it's so like, I, I don't know if we'll be seeing Rylai's as much, right? Um, Rylai's and Leandre's were a good combo together because Leandre's would do more damage against targets that were, that were uh, slowed or CC'd, right? So they comboed very well because they would boost each other's damage, essentially. Um, I don't know if we'll be seeing that more. Uh, we'll definitely have to see. Um, maybe we'll see more tank singed instead, you know? Maybe we'll see, like, chem tank rush singed every single game. Or maybe we'll see full AP singed Leandre's with uh, whatever else, right? We'll, we'll have to see. But uh, I like this item. The, the burning's nice. Uh, rushing it feels all right. Um, I like the animations and kind of greenish greenish burn uh reminds me of the shadow isles so definitely look, looking forward to playing with this on live uh we did play with it uh quite a bit on pbe so high hopes high hopes all right ludens um so the main thing about this is that instead of needing to charge to 100 uh, 100 stacks for it to explode there's a flat cooldown. It's a 10 second cooldown now for it to, when you use the spell, it, it does like the little mini explosion juice, right? Um, it's a cooldown now instead of, uh, instead of needing to stack after, you know, running around a bunch, right? You don't need, you, you no longer uh, get movement speed or anything from that aside from actually hitting it, right? You get 30% movement speed here. But you no longer get the passive movement speed from building from uh was it aether wisp right i think it's good uh good poke right gives you a little bit of speed sort of similar to night harvester uh which will i guess will cover very very soon after this um syndra karthus you know helps you kite bonus damage very good all around it's kind of what you want Everfrost, so they changed um, Hextech GLP 800, 
right? The ice shotgun. Okay, they changed it. So they made the range a lot shorter, okay? And uh, it slows, but people at the center of it gets get rooted, right? Uh, and we saw that in the video just a little bit ago. Um, use it for setups. It's also a 20 second cooldown, which is very, very low. And the damage is actually quite nice. 100 plus 30% AP is actually really nice. I kind of like that, to be honest. It's kind of, you know, it's a lot shorter than before, but it's very, very helpful for setting up uh, for landing all your abilities, right? So maybe you'll see it on like a Nico mid, maybe Ari, right? Definitely worth seeing it on Ari. Uh, Vagar again, right? He was using Hextech GLP before. Maybe like a Cho'Gath, you know? Maybe it's just like, it's, you want to set things up, right? Maybe a Lux, right? Very good. I like it. It's enjoyable. Do you wish it was a longer range, but I think maybe that would have been too OP. We did see a bug with uh, Orin, I think. Um, he would be able to spam it with no cooldowns at all. It's very odd to see because it was just white, you know, that entire like there was just a cone of white in front of them just spamming and it was very noisy. Um, I don't think I got footage of that, but that was a thing for a little bit. OK, but they fixed it. All right. Hextech rocket belt. So it's a reworked Hextech proto belt. OK, uh, essentially they use this as engage, right? You no longer use this for damage. Um, it does less damage compared to protobelt i don't think you can clear waves anymore or as efficiently as before you would go in through the side right use the protobelt and it'd clear the entire wave which is really really nice and maybe a little busted right so now um it's it uh, does it mention it here it doesn't but essentially right um it only hits once okay so hitting multiple missiles doesn't do extra damage um but you also get movement speed towards enemy champions so you're going to be seeing this on engaging uh a maybe like an ap assassin sort of thing right you want to just go in right so think i'm thinking echo echo is the first thing that comes up into my mind using hextech rocket belt maybe uh maybe galio right you do want to get a nice engage we are we have been seeing a lot of predator galio uh, I don't know if it's because of the Chinese or the Koreans or I don't know, but had pro Predator Galio to just kind of run at people and like taunt and stuff, you know, it's it's engage. Okay, so this is definitely a good en engaging tool. Uh, very nice. Shorter range mages. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Riftmaker, we played a game um, with Singed and I think with Ramus. Um, Omnivamp. So Omnivamp is is a uh, spell vamp or whatever you know it's use heal <laughs> it's healing right uh you deal three percent bonus damage and then after a certain point it gets to 15 percent and then that 15 percent gets turned into true damage it gives you magic pen um this is nice for like a sustain build i don't know if proxy singed really needs this if you really need the sustain in between it's very nice to have it makes you a little tankier right it gives you H hp right um i feel like ability haste is sort of wasted on singed um aside from like making ult better and like flip is like a second earlier like it's all right definitely nice and lame though feels good uh especially later in the game uh when you're healing a lot more because your damage is a lot higher but early game i think i i think it's fine i think it's okay it could be better um definitely works paired with like uh the dune monic embrace right which is the the other version of the andres like the lesser version which also burns for hp percent but uh yeah it's it's mainly for sustain mainly for spell vamp right um you're going to be seeing it on maybe a collie right maybe you'll see it on hmm who am i thinking of any any mage that goes for like a long fight or long trades right or stays in lane for a while you you'll probably see this a bit more right maybe silas right uh night harvester sort of like echo okay sort of like uh the was it ludens right from before 
uh, dealing damage, right? Deals additional damage, okay? So instead of exploding, right? It just deals extra damage to a champion, anything. Any kind of damage, right? And it also gives you movement speed. So uh, I was running this on Gallia mid because I thought it was funny, okay? I didn't think much of it. I just thought it was funny. Uh, definitely going to be seeing this a lot on Akali. Definitely great for bursting, right? Um, poke, it's... For poke, it's also really good, right? Great tool for magic damage dealing assassins and bruisers who want to work their way through the entire enemy team, right? Uh, their example in the video above was Rumble harassing an Orn. Um, he was able to kind of burn him, and then, like, because he got movement speed from Night Harvester, he was able to dodge out of um, the knockup from Orn. So, yeah, I, I, it's good. It's good. I like it, it's fun. Bonus damage is always nice. Scales with AP. You know, this is good. Uh, tried it on Singe. Uh, didn't really feel it, to be honest. You know, maybe you do it on like a full AP Singe. You know, like a Dark Harvest Singed. But I, don't, I think uh, either Leandri's, right? Let's see, Leandri's or maybe uh, Riftmaker is a little bit better. We'll have to see though. Um, Still need more testing. I played probably like 20 games of Singe, and I'm sort of leaning towards Leandri's Riftmaker. That's just me, you know. Anyways, uh, Trinity Force. Um, so they changed a lot of the, the starting items, right? A lot of the base items that build into things. So uh, there's a Kindle Gem in here instead of Phage, right? There's no more Stinger, right? There's Hearthbound Axe, right? But mainly, right, it's still got the Phage passive with the movement speed. Okay. Yeah. It also gives a stacking AD when you hit things, when you hit champions. All right. That's that's part of it. Okay. Spell blade is just Sheen. Okay. So bonus damage is two hundred percent. Right. And then it gives attack speed to everything. I think it's good. Um, you're definitely squishier than before. I don't know if it gave as much he health as before, but I feel a lot squishier. But you do a lot of damage. So. That's the trade-off. That's usually what it is. All right, movement speed, bonus damage. Nice. Alright. Nasus, Darius, uh, Garen. Um, apparently, someone uh, messaged me, left a comment on my Garen video, saying that Trinity Force is not good on Garen because it's currently bugged on Garen and the, the bonus attack speed slash attack speed doesn't work on his E. But I'm pretty sure they fixed that now, so probably a lot better than what I what I did in that video, All right? Gore Drinker, um, I recommend this for stacking HP, um, but let's go through it. So, uh, essentially it's Tiamat, okay, he's, he uses the, the Tiamat active, right? Deals damage, right? And you restore HP, okay, based on your missing HP plus, right, a flat amount right it's also affected by ability haste which is nice uh so i was doing with a cled who would rush this every game right um he would 1v3 every single time because they would surround him and then he would heal uh all his hp back right 12 percent of your missing health which is is that the same as darius q i think that's the same as darius q right it's not missing HP, but that's like percent HP. But like, you heal a lot, okay? You heal a lot. Uh, I did a video of Garen with Gore Drinker, which is okay. It's not bad. Um, I feel Triforce is a little bit better. Or maybe the next item which we'll cover in a bit. But this is very good for Kled. Uh, definitely seeing it on Kled. Uh, probably Aatrox. Um, who else? Who else? Darius is not bad with it. Um, thanks for like AD Bruiser with a with a decent chunk of HP. This is very nice. Okay, you can definitely turn a fight, especially if it's extended, right? Because you just heal back a lot of HP. It's hard to duel someone if you can't kill them, right? <laughs> so Stride Breaker, uh, all you do is you dash a little bit. I think they call it lunge, right? Dealing damage, and then it slows them by sixty percent. Saw this on a Hecarim. Uh, great for locking down people and just like sitting on top of them, 
right? Hecarim with Stridebreaker was quite nice. I don't know if you get something else, but it was definitely uh, quite funny when the enemy ADC just complained about being slowed because it slows over for like two seconds, right? And you can just keep using it. Uh, so I don't know, Garen, he would dash at someone, they get slowed, and he would just sit on them with the, the spin. And that's all. That's all he would do. And they would die. <laughs> um, that was it. That was it. Uh, it also has the, the phage movement speed, but no AD bonus. Right. I think this one's... I think most people are considering Stride Breaker to be the weakest. It's very, very rare that you're going to see it for a bit. Maybe people are going to figure out like a like a type of build with it, right? I think it's decent for escaping. It's you know good for locking down someone. But if you wanted damage, you go damage. If you wanted you know a slow, you you, you know right? Like it's all right. I think it's it's okay. It's fun though. It's fun. Okay. Don't don't just be like oh I don't want this item because he said so. no. Just play with them. Play with the items. Okay. Hop into a normal, play some Stride Breaker Garen or Stride Breaker Hecarim, Stride Breaker Jin, <laughs> right? So Divine Sunderer, um, it has Sheen, right? It has the Sheen passive, and uh, so there's no longer things called unique passives anymore, right? Anything that has the name, it doesn't stack. Okay, so you can't go Divine Sunderer, and then you can't go Essence Reaver Triforce. Um, what else is Sheen? Well, there's a bunch of stuff that's Sheen, okay? There's like four items that build out of Sheen now, which is kind of nice. But this, um, essentially, uh, your next auto deals 10% of their max HP phys as physical, okay? And if it's a champion, okay, restores half of that damage back to you, okay? 30% for range, okay? So I ran this on Wukong. Didn't work out very well, but it was also bugged, um... At that time so i think it wasn't doing bonus damage it only worked on minions and i was healing every single auto on minions which is really really weird but it's not related to this i don't know it was just bugged okay but i think this is good um if they're sacking a lot of hp this is sort of like your blade of the ruin king but tankier right um wukong any sort of caster right maybe renekton uh, a set, you know, maybe a set. Mm, we'll, we'll think of more, but I, I liked it. I liked it. I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was pretty solid. Is that the only problem was not many people were building tank. <laughs> so it was hard to use uh, when everyone was just building lethality, right? So I didn't get to test it very much. Uh, played probably three or four games of it. I thought it was fine. You know, sustain was fine. No one was playing like Maokai, okay? No one was playing Mundo, okay? I saw like two out of like 50 games, okay? And I wasn't even, you know, like it, it, there, was, there was less chances for um, getting this. But I think it's good. Uh, bonus damage based on HP is kind of nuts. 10%. Whew, Jesus. Uh, looking forward to it. Probably, uh, maybe we get into Wukong, you know? We'll build Wukong like this. We'll have to see. Uh, Shirelia's Battle Song. Um, they updated the icon before it was for sort of facing you. Now it's sort of tilted. Uh, they're kind of doing it with every, every, uh, item icon now. Where they sort of tilt it instead of having it just face towards you. It looks, it looks more attractive, okay? It's a bit more dynamic, more dramatic, okay? But essentially it's the same thing. Gives you movement speed. AoE movement speed for your team. Okay, so Sivir, right? It's a Sivir ult. <laughs> a little boost, okay? Karma, Karma, R, E, R, E. Okay. Um, I think, I actually used to rush Relias on Singed back when it had AP on it. Um, now it's just what HP cooldown movement speed and mana regen. So they're definitely shifting it. Uh, well, I mean, it was already shifted, but it's a support item. Okay. But, um, maybe we'll build it, you know, for like a, like if we don't go chem tank, we could go Shirelia's potentially. Right. 
Not really, kind of ignoring the mana regen, but the bonus movement speed, 2.5% for every legendary item is kind of nice. Bonus HP and CDR, you know, that's not wasted, right? Maybe, maybe we'll see, um, but definitely going to be seeing on uh, like an engaging support enchanter. Yeah. Locket of the Iron, the Solari, essentially the same thing, and they brought back the old passive, uh, which gives allied champions armor and magic resist. I remember when I was a, I was a support main, right? I used to only play Blitzcrank bot. I would rush Locket every game, or at least a Runic Bulwark, and that would give like 20 or 30 armor and mag magic resist to my team, and, right? And that was, that was, I'd rush it every single game. <laughs> And it would just make your team slightly tankier, and it was fun, right? Um, so they're bringing that back with uh, this bonus 5 armor and MR. Not a whole lot, okay? But it's, it's just funny, okay? It's funny. Um, it also increases for each legendary item. So say you have 4 other legendary items, adds a 13 armor and magic resist to your team. Kind of nice, not bad. I don't see a problem with it. Um... But yeah, it's it's essentially the same thing. Gives the shields, right? Um, I always pick it up if I'm against like an Oriana or someone with a lot of AOE, right? Like make, maybe like a Gangplank, right? I would always pick a block it. Um, having this AOE shield can just turn off someone's spell, right? It would be like a, I don't know. Any, any kind of like AOE, usually AP though. Uh, Moonstone Renewer. I uh, definitely saw this a lot on Soraka. And I think I saw it on Lulu. And I also saw it on a Nico support like twice. But basically, when affecting champions with basic attacks or abilities, restore HP to your most wounded ally. It's a tool second and cooldown. Um, I think it's okay. You know, a little bit of a little bit of extra healing is always nice, right? Definitely see it on like a sort of not really like a fighter not like a tank Okay, but like someone who's like weaving in autos maybe like a recon right? Will a recon during an entire fight will probably heal a lot. Okay, say like a fight lasts 30 seconds 15 times You know like say 45 right like that's that's a lot of HP just healed to people All right it also increases uh, over time as well, so uh, Soraka Lulu Rakan, uh, maybe, maybe not Thresh, um, but it's nice though, it's nice. Imperial Mandate, so this one's, uh, they changed the icon, but originally it was like a Leona shield, it looked kind of like Leona shield, or like a, it was like a yellow, right, and essentially, abilities that slow and mobilize to your bonus damage, and marks them, alright, they could, allies can detonate the mark for bonus damage. Right, gives you movement speed to both of the people. So it, it's sort of like Leona, um, like Leona passive where they can do damage and it does extra damage. Um, but it's like more AP focused, so maybe you'll see it on um, like a Zyra, a Lux, a Velkaz, maybe Zareth support, right? Kind of nice, right? Um, definitely Zyra, I think. If Zyra locks someone down, ooh, yikes. All right, stat update. So this is ability haste, um, essentially, right? You can just pick up a lot of ability haste and it would still matter versus it getting capped at 40% for CDR, right? So let's see, do, 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 do. CDR had to be capped at 40%, right? Now they're making it better. Right, so it's it's based on casting, which is kind of weird, but like, there there's definitely videos out there that explain it better than this block of uh, stuff, right? And someone did a spreadsheet. I can probably link it in the description if someone reminds me. Uh, ability haste. Let me write that down. Um, ability haste. Ability haste. Excel. Right. Someone someone made a spreadsheet of it because um, it's sort of like diminishing returns or whatever, right? I think the max you can get is like a hundred something if you have like all the items, right? But it's not exactly the <laughs> the best, okay? Or uh, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. I mean, 
um stacking a bunch of ability haste is not favored compared to actually doing damage or something um you still benefit from it every a lot of items give ability haste now versus like the the seven items from before right so you always benefit from it but if you're stacking just to stack it it's probably not worth it right um so they changed a little bit of wording uh omni vamp you heal from everything including autos autos and spells right life steal is life steal so from autos and then physical vamp is just healing from anything that does physical damage from you okay that's really it they didn't really change anything too crazy uh omni vamp was kind of like weird but i think that's the best way they could have named it <laughs> um they changed a lot of crit items okay so this is a this is for the ad carry mains um most items right now before preseason hits are 25 percent crit so ie static shiv which is now gone by the way um essence reaver most of them give 25 percent but right now they're making it 20 percent but this is more for favoring uh building five items of crit or you can build something else right and uh the, it, it's more of a nerf to crit because you can't just get you can't just max out your crit immediately and you're doing less crit damage as well um but they want uh like I don't know. What do they want? <laughs> what, what, what does Riot want here? Um, crit chance more on items because marksmen no longer run the risk of overcapping. Right, so this opens up, builds a bit more, a little bit, right? You can build one more item and don't worry about losing out on the wasted 25% crit because you already lost it. <laughs> so a bit more of a variety for builds, maybe. Um, but most people are not gonna like this all right I, i've heard a lot of complaints about it all right new legendary items collector executes at five percent also gives you 25 gold it's a lethality item i like building it on any kind of assassin with um constant damage i think uh definitely on lucian okay i was playing a lot of lethality lucian i thought it was great lethality lucian was fun okay I would dash, or, or I'd hit the W, okay? And then you just press your R button, and then you just follow them around, and then Collector would execute them at 5%. It was great. I loved it. I love this item. I hate playing against it, okay? It sucks <laughs> when you get executed. You're like, oh, I escaped. And then any kind of damage, right? Any kind of damage under 5%, it executes. So it's harder to escape with some plays some really really clutch plays now with collector but it also costs three thousand gold so it's a little bit of an invest investment for them right it's cool though it also works on minions but it doesn't um doesn't give you the bonus gold because those aren't champions <laughs> they're very quick blades um this was a very weird item before um they didn't make it so that it was unique so you could stack like six of them as like say ye and then you would auto once and then you could Q again auto Q auto Q auto Q right um you can't do that anymore okay I was just mentioning it because I thought it was funny right so every time you crit reduces your non ultimate okay so not your ultimate ability cooldowns by 20% of the original right so this is good for maybe like a Xin Zhao right just think of anyone who ran Shoujin okay this is the new Shoujin right any like a zin zhao maybe like um i don't know I'm, I'm trying to think but anyone that that does like very good at spell casting right very nice spells okay i recommend it it's fun um i played i think two games of it um i thought it was nice maybe you'll see it on e maybe you won't you know you usually don't go crit on e because people just build armor or like it's hard to not have attack speed but it was bugged before but now it isn't so it's fine uh i like it it's cool pug champ uh <laughs> it's the new shojin okay uh works better with your uh with a bit more attack speed as well force of nature is now back they changed it though so 
uh, gives you movement speed and magic resist stacking uh, five times for cold um, was it for taking damage from abilities so uh, I was I was playing with it on singed if you go against like an AP heavy team right or if you're uh, against like um sort of like a poke like a poke team it's kind of nice to have um, I think it's all right it's good good magic resist though and the movement speed that stacks is kind of nice too um, but most of the time you'll probably go for the dead man's all right I don't, I don't think you usually build too much MR just cuz but hey it's nice it's nice I, I like the icon I think it's okay <laughs> I wish it did more <laughs> it's fine it's fine uh serpent's fang i saw it one time one time and that was against a janna uh but basically basic attacks abilities deal bonus damage to shielded targets so if someone's shielded you would break the shield a lot faster that's it right so this is like an anti-shield uh item oh it says that right there but yeah i it's very situational you won't be picking this up very often you will though if you're against like a what jenna jenna lulu i don't know it's like a shield comp okay and, that, that, and that's what they talk about um shields were kind of nuts uh especially if they build the new spirit visage will, which we'll cover in just a little bit rise and focus so this one's fun um long range artillery and control mages more damage alternative that loops into the playstyle. So, um, if you hit an ability from far away, it deals or it reveals them. Okay, right? Reveals and increases the damage they take from you. So maybe like a Nidalee, right? Timo, right? Timo shrooms. Apparently, it works with shrooms. That's what someone told me. So anyone with decent traps. Okay. Narn targeted. I don't know whatever no it's not traps then non-targeted what does that mean you don't target it okay so like you don't shoot it i don't know what that means i'm, I'm stupid um but yeah it's bonus damage on on like a larger range uh cosmic drive so this was something that people were um screwing around around with a wound around with a lot uh <laughs> People were stacking it. You'd get six of these. But basically, it just gave you a bunch of movement speed. Right? Dealing damage with abilities gives you movement speed. Right? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple videos. I didn't get to it. I didn't have time. Uh, I, had, I had to sign up for a school or something. I, I don't know. I was, like, really busy for, like, a week. So, I didn't have the time to try out Cosmic Drive uh, before they fixed the, the six-stack Cosmic Drive Ultra Movement Speed warlord singed so i'm sorry about that uh, i'm pretty sure minish minish cap did a video on that so uh maybe check out that video um you could probably just search for it so demonic embrace so this is very similar to leandri's um burns right burns for max hp damage you also get 10 armor and magic resist and it also stacks a little bit for each enemy champion. So this is great on Singed, okay? Makes you tankier, gives you b more burn damage, right? Builds from items that you, you already build. Blasting Wand, Giant Spell, Amplifying Tome. Like, these are good, right? Bonus HP, AP, right? It's very, very solid as a buy. You'll see it on Lilia. You'll see it on Singed. You'll see it on... Who, who else? Sustain, sustained Mages. Oh yeah, a thing I forgot to cover. Uh, AD Katarina is a thing. I'm pretty sure maybe you already know that, but they added a on hit. So for her ult, it now applies on hit, and they had to nerf it. Um, people would go Blade of the Ruin King into Dust Blade or really anything, any kind of like just AD damage, right? Um, mainly lethality uh, or whatever on Katarina, and she would kind of you know enroll. So they had to nerf it. <laughs> so surreal does grudge um this is sort of like an 80 version of rylize 
So damaging abilities slow enemies by 30% for one second, right? It's nice, okay? It's nice. It also gives you 30% armor pen because it builds out a last whisper. So this is kiting plus getting through tanks, right? Nice, you know? That's nice. But yeah, it's like an AD Rylize. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Silver Mirror Dawn, this is QSS. This is literally QSS. That's it. It's QSS and it also gives magic resist. <laughs> That's it. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> there's, there's not much else to talk about. This is uh, Grievous Wounds, right? It gives Grievous Wounds. It also, if they're under 50% HP, it also makes it up to 60%. Um, instead of 40%. I built this on Urgot because I was against like a Silas or something and it would just turn off his healing like crazy. It was great. But here's um, Grievous Wounds. All right, cool. Uh, Chemtech Putrefier. So this is a support version of Grievous Wounds as an actual item. Kind of weird. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But yeah, they mentioned it. Amplified by mo mobilizing. All right, so if you CC someone, it also makes it 60%. Instead of the 50% uh, but below HP, it's the, if they're CC'd. Yeah? Onwards. Staff of Flowing Water. Solace on Soraka. Um, Spellcasters. Okay, healing or shielding an ally grants you both movement speed and AP for three seconds. Cool, right? It's nice. Definitely seeing on Soraka, definitely seeing on Yumi. Oh god, Yumi. Oh, oh no, oh lord. Um Which also kind of double stacks on itself because Yumi's W. If it has more AP then it kind of stacks back. It's oh lord. Oh Jesus. But yeah. Um gives movement speed. That that's that's the that's like the main thing that you, you could probably focus on is that it gives movement speed. Um I did build this when I was trying out uh, a bug, I, I guess it's a bug on Knight's Vow, which we'll cover later. Uh, Stirring Wardstone, this is literally just wards. And uh, this is kind of, I don't know if it's bugged, but you can level it. It's weird. Um, so you can store three control wards in this one item. Very nice, right? Before it's two, now, now it's three, okay? And then, once you've placed 20 regular wards, it turns into Watchful Wardstone, which is the next one, right? This, I think, was bugged on PvE. You could actually level it while in base, because you can just spam a bunch of your trinkets or a bunch of wards in base, okay? And it would count towards the mission. I don't know if they're going to change that or not. They probably are. <laughs> There's no way they, they're going to let that happen. Um, but... You might be actually seeing this on uh, Lee Sin. You know, you might see this on uh, junglers that are going for a more support build, because this mean this is uh, this is like the old warding stuff, right? You can just get wards, get more wards. It only costs a thousand gold, and it also levels up, right? Uh, let's see, gives you twenty five ability haste. That's it. Well, it also increases your your caps. Stealth and control ward placement caps by one. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a placement cap is. Is that the range? Or is that oh wait, no, never mind. I'm I'm dumb. Before you can only have one control ward down, now you can have two. Before you can only have three wards down, and now you can have four. This is nice. This is good for like a hard vision control support. Either for as a jungler or as uh, just support running around. All right, what is this? Holds control or <laughs> that is a great description. So instead of twenty five, it gets forty. Okay. Wait. Okay, you can just upgrade it for twelve hundred gold. Okay. Also gives you movement speed, so helps you roam a little bit while you're clearing wards and placing wards down. This is still the same. All right, this is still the same. But definitely going, might be seeing this on like a Lee Sin. I think it would be very, very cool. More, more vision control with control wards and stuff. And being able to hold more and actually have it be useful. 
is really nice to see. All right, updated legendary items. A mortal reminder, um, percent penetration, right? It was worse than buying more damage, right? You needed to stack armor. Now this is a little bit better. Dealing damage, so this is Grievous, again, dealing three basic attacks, changes it to 60%, right? Grievous plus armor pen? Is there armor pen? No? Yeah, it doesn't give you armor pen anymore. This is a Grievous, right, plus damage. Because before, Grievous would only build into one thing, and that was this. Now it builds into multiple things, like the, the chem thing above, the, the chainsaw. Cool. Nice. Winsu's, um, I think, let's see. Now grants on hit damage based on critical strike chance, but you can't crit. That's the trade-off, right? I actually saw this like three times on Yasuo, which was really weird to me, because I didn't know that the, the crit was converted to on hit damage. I was I was like, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, <laughs> but no longer gives AD, AP, or penetration, right? So attack speed, 40%, crit chance, 20%, converts it into right this on hit which is actually quite nice i don't know like why they're building on yasuo though doesn't yasuo benefit uh, whatever still has the same passive though okay that's that's the main thing phantom dancer no longer has lifeline okay so lifeline is um what uh shield bow has now uh, the, the bonus shield, right, when you're under 30% HP, and it now gives lifesteal. So they remove that. This gives ghosting, movement speed, and more attack speed after you hit things. So attacking five times also gives bonus attack speed, right? But ghosting and movement speed helps you kite, um, helps you run around, right? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's good. I, I saw it twice. Um, I didn't think it was crazy. I didn't think it was nuts. I thought it was okay. Lord Dominic's regards. Um, they gave it crit. <laughs> but it still has armor pen. Uh, but also, they still have the Giant Slayer passive on it, dealing bonus damage to greater HP targets. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, it's It's like virtually the same, aside from... Uh, it has crit now. That's sort of it. <laughs> Essence Reaver. Okay, now they added Sheen to this. So this is interesting. It gives you Sheen. And it also restores 3% of your mana. So if you use mana, you... Right? You use mana, you gain mana back. It's kind of weird. But... Ezreal. Maybe you'll see it on Ezreal. Maybe you'll see it on Sivir. Uh, maybe you'll see it on Samira. Um, maybe you'll see it on, maybe Varus, eh, sorta, not really, Varus is more of the poking instead of, uh, you know, AD mage, but cool, um, instead of autoing for H, or mana, it, you know, refunds it after you use a spell, essentially, it's not bad, I, I think it's good, I think it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, um, definitely going to see it though. Infinity Edge, um, the bonus crit now stands like it scales with crit chance. Uh, that that's literally it. That's all they did. <laughs> but a lot of people would build it first, as they mention here, right? If you don't build it first, you lose out on damage. If you go for something else, right? Unless you're going for like a storm razor, right? Because you need that bonus, like the, the slow or whatever. Okay. Mana Moon, the change is now gives CDR. Okay. I, I need to stop saying CDR. AH now gives AH. I, I, now gives ability haste. All right. Um, and they changed the way tier stacks now, which uh, I kind of don't like. Um, before you could level your tier by just using spells. Now you have to hit things with those spells in order to count as a stack and as a result for that they made the threshold from 750 right let's see where is it 
750, now it's down to 450. Before you would rush this on Corky, and I don't know if I if it's worth it anymore. Um, the tier stacks a lot faster. It's more or less. Right, I think it's supposed to stack at the same time, but you can't stack it when you're going to lane. Oh, what do I do with my hands? You know, you go into lane, you press like random buttons to level the tier, but now you can't do that. But also, tier does only cost 400 now. It's it's actually a starter item now. Um, it gives you a little bit of bonus damage. Mermana, um applies to abilities. It no longer consumes mana. Which is fine. I think it's fine. Uh, this is this is like a slight. It's a slight um, change to um, sort of make up for the lack of mana you get. You you lose three hundred mana right from the the four hundred fifty, right? And now it applies to abilities, which is also really good. So, yeah, nice. It's it's good. It's fine. There's no issue with it. I just I, I'm just gonna be missing leveling tier while going to lane okay or like sitting in base right i'm i'm like 700 mana out of 750 and just pressing buttons okay i'm gonna miss that but aside from that it's good it's fine it's fine archangel staff um also better right uh ap per mana increased okay because you lost mana before all right no longer give cdr or mana refund on cast i don't think people really use that a lot i don't know because <sighs> that's what tier did before it would reduce your mana costs by like 20 percent uh this is the same as mana moon or anything tier uh it's fine everything's good everything's good okay it's fine I, I, th these are still usable there's no issue with them in fact they might also be better they might be better all right now grants mana per ap which is kind of a weird thing. <laughs> Definitely getting on rise though. But don't no longer gives a shield. Oh. All right, Lichbane. So this is kind of weird. Um, they changed Lichbane a little bit, and I I personally don't really like the icon. It just looks like it's on fire, like a sword that's on fire, like a dagger that's on fire. Which I get. I don't know. I don't really like the icon personally. Okay, it's fine though. Um, also, I should save this page because this page has the new icons. Yeah. We're, oh my gosh, we're not even halfway. Look at that. Can you see the bar over here? We're not even halfway. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, what, 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 what happened? Hmm? It, it scales on AD now as well. It scales on AD as well base ad though so you know you, you're not building it in an ad build but it also helps if you have a little bit of ad it help it's bonus damage right it's just making your auto attack a little bit better right because you're going to be auto attacking quite a bit okay with lich bane and it skills on a ap as well that, that's literally it it just does more damage but it no longer gives mana and cdr all right it's just damage i i used uh a lich bane in my Teemo video, and man, it honestly felt pretty good for for being able to two-shot someone with a Q auto as Teemo. So, nice, okay? Um, Blade of the Ruin King, apparently the only change is that the movement speed is now a passive. 10% um, current HP. Um, people rush this on Katarina now. I've seen, let's see, if there's like 10 Katarinas that I've run into, like like eight of them have rushed Blade of the Ring King and then popped off. So, just just pointing that out, okay? It's not a mythic, though. It's not a mythic. Black Cleaver. All right. It has a execute passive, okay? And no longer has the phage movement speed. Right? That's really it. So it has like this execute. So maybe you get it on Urgod or Gray, not Graves. Graves is fine. Graves, but no one gives movement speed, which is kind of sad. But it's execution. Okay, it's execution for longer fights, slightly longer fights for bruisers. Yeah, maybe Cled. 
Definitely clad. Okay, works with his W. Ooh, works with his W. Ooh, nice. Anyways, um, onwards. Ravenous Hydra now works on ranged and abilities. I saw a Urgot jungle rush this, and I thought it was weird. And then I saw him shooting, and it was just kind of exploding. Um, <laughs> it was funny, and it's pretty good. It's essentially the same though. They changed it to Omnivamp instead of Lifesteal, but it's it's more or less the same aside from being able to work on abilities and ranged attacks. No more regen. Tiamat no longer gives regen. And he can't, oh, there's no active, which is, I, honestly, it's fine. It's fine. Um, Titanic Hydra now grants AD based on health. So uh, this is sort of similar to a previous item that was removed, Atma's Impaler. Uh, you'd build it on like Garen. And that's really the only one I can think of. Um, you build on Garen, and uh, percent of your HP gets turned into AD. And that was it. And since they're going with the trend of Tiamat being ranged and on abilities, it also works that way. And there's no more active. Which is the trade-off, right? Uh, but yeah, that's that. That's it's fine. That's fine. It's good. It's good. Witsend no longer heals. Um. But it gives movement speed. So that's the, the trade-off is that you want to be kiting them instead of being able to just sustain through. <laughs> you know, slapping them and then you just heal. Right? Cool. It's uh, I, I'll miss the wit's end like nutty healing. But eh, you know, eh, eh, it's not eh. Eh. <laughs> Uh, Ma, they buffed the shield, and then, um, so they changed the bonus stats. So bonus stats uh, are on shield bow now. So shield bow now gets 15% lifesteal bonus when the shield goes off. Uh, they removed that. It's not there anymore. Instead, of this would just give you a magic damage shield. That's it. Uh, good for against burst. Still the same item. It just doesn't give you the, you know... The bonus lifesteal damage stuff. Yeah. Alright. Death Dance. Omnivamp. Replace with Bleed Cleanse. Movement Speed. And Heal on Takedown. So. Um, it still has the damage over time thing. So like 30%. What? 35%. Okay. 35% of physical damage taken is dealt over 3 seconds instead. And. So. They, they wanted it to be like a, an all in sort of thing. Right? You, you trade off. Right? So. Um, when you kill someone, when you get a takedown, it it, it turns this off, right? T turns off the damage over time, okay? Gives you movement speed, and gives you 10% max HP, right? Pretty good. Not bad. Um, but it no longer heals, okay? It no longer has, like, a base healing. It no longer builds out a vamp scepter. Okay, that's the thing to point out, is that it no longer heals... Aside from when you get kills. So this is all about getting kills. Okay? And getting out and surviving. And dueling. Right? Sort of like a dueling all in. Let me get this on an assassin. Bonus movement speed is very nice. Steric's gauge. Base shield decrease, but now scales the number of enemies in combat. Now grants healing based on enemies in combat. Tenacity removed. No longer melee only. Uh, we did a Garen video using Steric's gauge, which was bugged at that moment. So it gave, uh, I think it was like a 2,000 or 3,000 HP shield, which was not right, okay? Um, so, one thing to notice, dealing damage or taking damage gives you a stack, restoring 2% of your max HP over 6 seconds, okay? Stacks 5 times, 1 per enemy champion, okay? This is nice if you're stacking a lot of HP, okay? Lifeline, upon taking damage, that would reduce your health below 30%, Gain a shield equal to 200 plus 8% of your max HP per stack of rage, right? Is it, where's rage? Whatever. Okay. Anyways, this is supposed to be rage. Uh, so you get five stacks, five, 40% of your max HP plus 200. Okay. Yes. Onwards. It was bugged before. Randuins. Redu um, reduces enemy AD. So when you use it, right, it reduces their AD, which is kind of funny. But also, it's a little bit better if you're like an engager, and then, then they just do less damage. 
so cool um yeah um they, they just slightly reworked it um re passively reduces damage so warden's mail now uh, just reduces like a flat damage from their auto right um not just crits okay no longer reduces enemy attack speed no longer do yeah the warden's mail just reduces base damage from them hitting you so reduces incoming damage based on max hp capped at 40 percent. so you can't just take negative damage okay because you have 3000 billion hp okay it's capped but you just take a lot less damage nice hell yeah frozen heart now passively reduces damage taken from basic attacks so this is builds builds out of warden mail the warden's mail so they just have the passive on here which is rock solid that's it that that's the change aside from uh aside from reducing the attack speed aura that's it next Gargoyle stone plate active converted to a decaying shield passive grants resistances on taking damage so this builds out of i believe the same thing uh uh what is it called i don't remember whatever okay <laughs> i'm sorry i'm so like i'm already losing dude i'm i'm halfway now <laughs> I don't know how long this video is. It's been a while and it's gonna take 30 years to upload, right? <laughs> but I'm going through the entire thing of patch notes and I'm not rushing too hard, okay? So let me take a drink, a sip of water because my throat is gone. This is spelled wrong. Aegis of the Lagon. Okay. Sorry, a little break, okay? You can pause the video Go take a pee break because it's been apparently it's been an hour of me just talking <laughs> all right so taking damage from a champion gives you bonus armor and magic resist for six seconds once per enemy champion so it stacks five times okay 15 percent bonus armor and magic resist so this is sort of similar to uh the tft version of uh gargoyle is that is it is that what it's called in gargoyle or is that what it's called in tft um, basically any champion that's targeting you or targeting that champion would, it would give, uh, like 20 armor, 20 magic resist per champion focusing. I think they nerfed it. I think they nerfed it to like 12, but this is sort of similar, right? Uh, gain a hundred plus a hundred percent bonus HP shield that decays when you use the active. So it no longer just doubles your HP or like. 30 percent or you know right no longer just gives the hp just gives you a bonus shield which i think is fine i don't know <laughs> i think I, I i played with it with uh i think maokai and the bonus shield is really nice i i like it it's fine it's good it's good all right abyssal mask passive change to increase damage on immobilized enemies this is more uh they're more supporty now they want it to be like, when you lock down people, they take more damage, right? So good on Maokai, good on any sort of like engaging tank with a decent amount of CC. Solid. I, I used it a few times and I thought it was great. <laughs> Thornmail, damage reduced, now applies Grievous. Improved Grievous when you immobilize an enemy. So more focused around CC tanks. Um, Deals a lot less damage, sadly. Oh, I'm going to miss the damage. But you could stack it before, but you can't now. Okay, so don't try to stack it. It, is, it doesn't work. Zeke's Convergence. So they actually updated the icon. The icon's nice. Look at that. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice to look at. I want to look at it closer. Wow, that is nice. You can also see the brush marks. That's cool. Um, Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> now grants bonus on hit damage to your linked ally and targets you've immobilized. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know what there is to say other than that's it. Um, Zeke's was, I think any kind of engaged support would rush Zeke's or Knight's Vow. Zeke's more common. So Blitzcrank, Leona, Nautilus, um... Set usually ran like dead man's first because he's set, but most people would just run Zeke's because the the slowing field around you and the the bonus damage. So they're changing that. 
So after you CC someone, okay, you deal bonus damage to them, uh, which is nice. It's fun. It's good. All right. Knight's Val. Um, they changed this. So uh, damage redirect increased. Now grants movement speed towards low health partners. No longer grants armor passive movement speed towards partner or heals. So you're no longer going to be healing a lot in a team fight as Leona with Knight's Vow anymore. It sucks, but they also gain movement speed toward, or you gain movement speed towards the champion that you have marked. Okay. So we played with this as a Yumi Hecarim. Hecarim would buy Knight's Vow, and then Yumi would get low. So Yumi would get to below fifty percent HP. And what happened was. Uh, Hecarim would permanently have this 35% movement speed when Yumi was attached. Because for whatever reason, Yumi is like coded or whatever that they're always like in Hecarim, so it counts as like in front of Hecarim, so you always had that movement speed, which is really, really weird. But it was nice, it was kind of fun. Obviously, they're going to fix it at some point. Maybe they already fixed it before. Maybe they did. You know, maybe I, I just didn't read. Uh, no longer gives magic pen, so they changed Oblivion Orb, right? Uh, it's now 800 gold. Was it 800 gold before? Whatever. And that's uh, the mage version of uh, the AD Grievous Wounds. So it gives Grievous Wounds at 800 golds now. 800 gold now. Nice. Hell yeah. Sanguine Blade now provides a physical vamp instead of lifesteal. So this is more of a buff. Uh, it's virtually the same thing. They just wanted it to uh, be a slightly better. Yeah. Onwards. <laughs> we could continue. All right. Bunch of gold changes. Okay. Fully upgraded support items count as legendaries. Very good. Works better with the mythics. Makes sense. Okay. Rapid fire cannon. Uh, is that bonus gold? Up 100 gold, but bonus at attack speed lowered crit. Uh, 500 less gold for Stormraiser. Less AD. More attack speed, less crit. Okay, Merc. Um, less gold overall, nice. Builds slightly differently. Less AD, less magic resist. Has crit now, doesn't have lifesteal. And then this excludes airborne. All right, Runons. Costs a lot more now, 3,400, okay? Builds slightly different. Okay, more AD. Gives you 25 AD, less crit, less movement speed. But the the bolts scale now. They scale. Rylize costs 400 more. AP is the same. Gives you 50 HP. But the slow is a lot better. So I, I think we're going to try it. We're, we're going to play with Rylize a bit more. It costs 3,000, which hits hard. Right before having it, twenty six hundred was more accessible for champions that right. But the trade off is that the slow is harder. So all right, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, Nash's tooth, same cost. Um, now gives more AP. This is more of an AP focused uh, item now. Um. It looks a little like Gwinsu's, so that might get confusing. I kind of miss the yellow, yellow sword, but it's fine. Okay, it's good. It's okay. It's fine. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, it's 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 cool. Okay, don't, don't worry. Um, no more CDR, but now it scales be better with uh, AP. So you might see it more. Um. People who build Nashers are going to still build Nashers. In fact, they're probably going to build Nashers more common. More often. Like a Azir or something. I can't think of anyone else. Timo. Azir, Timo. Um. <laughs> Bloodthirster is cheaper. Less AD. But now has crit. Edge of Night. Same cost. Less damage. Unfortunate. Less damage, but I think it's fine. Edge of Night was a good item. I liked it. Uh, Yumu's is now 100 gold up. 
gives 5 more AD but no longer has CDR. Umbral Glaive, 400 gold up. I think this is on purpose. This is on purpose. They they want Pike and Pantheon support to not get Umbral Glaive so fast, right? Give us 5% more. All right, get, they changed ability haste. So I don't know how much that equates to. Maybe that's like 12% CDR. I don't know. Gives more AD, changes to ability haste. Uh, Guardian Angel, less AD. That's it. War Mogs. Now it costs uh, 150 gold more. And uh, it heals faster, though. Per second. No, it's the same thing. It heals the same way. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, Spirit Visage. So this one was uh, very, this is kind of important. Um, it now increases the shielding and healing. So before it would increase healing by 30%. Now increase the shielding and healing by 25%. So less healing, but if you get a shield, it's increased. So that's the trade-off. Less magic resist, and that was it. So they added 5% bonus movement speed to Dead Man's Plate. Less armor, more HP. All right, Ardent Sensor, so no longer gives CDR, oh no. More mana regen, so more better for uh, the enchanters, right? No bonus movement speed, which is fine. That's it. Redemption, um, 200 gold, more expensive, no more health regen, has less mana regen, no longer damages minions. Or gets three times effectiveness for heal his shield power. Ooh, this is like a... This is quite a nerf, honestly. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't like that. All right. <laughs> Mikhail's Blessing. Bonus 200 gold. Um, more magic resist. Cedar is the same. Um, no longer... So they, they keep talking about airborne suppression. Uh, no longer grants bonus regen up to with the yeah, yeah, because uh, it was based on the cup, but there's no more cup, there's no more chalice. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, Magi's 200 gold more, no more mana, but gives 100 HP. Fine. Zanias, uh, down 400 gold, down 15 or down 10 AP. Right. It's fine. Uh, it's more accessible. Uh, I hate Zhonya's. I hate playing against Zhonya's. Especially when I was playing a lot of Yi, right? And people just press Zhonya's. But, you know, it's it's fine. Um, they, they need to be able to access a defensive option more with all these lethality items and all these new AP items. It's going to be a lot harder to survive for a bit. Banshee's Veil. Down 500 gold, which is quite big. Uh, less AP, less magic resist. And that's it. So, uh, the blue one, the red one. Um, so now Smite is different. After you use Smite five times, uh, this item is consumed. Okay? So now it's gone. Poof. Alright, no longer in your inventory. But you still get, you get Chilling Smite. Okay? And you also, let's see. Damaging. So it gives Omni, Omni Vamp, which is weird. So you, you, I feel like you heal less. It feels like I heal less now. Because there's no more like that damage over time that heals. Right? So like if you go to chickens, you heal less now. Which is kind of lame. But these have virtually the same passives aside from being red and blue smite. A red smite, when smiting champions, marks them for 4 seconds. Your damaging attacks and abilities deal bonus true damage over 2.5 seconds. And you take 20% reduced damage from them. That's it. More or less. All right. Ooh, jungle changes. All right. So they're uh, nerfing late game Gromp. He was a little hard to take later. Uh, nerfing Gromp overall and HP. Wow. Uh, first three no no longer have bonus. Oh wow. It no longer like mini crits on the first three autos. Okay. Killing Gromp restores HP and mana now. So this is like kind of like Scuttle, where it would re give you a bunch of HP and stuff, which is nice. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's good. Overall, it deals a little bit more damage, right? But it also heals back, right? So before, people would avoid taking Gromp because it would take so long and there was no reward from it. Now you could probably heal back more HP than you lose, which is nice. All right, blue buff. Um, now deals more damage, okay. Uh, less magic resist later, okay. Uh, health is down by a lot, like 500, or 300 to 500, at less HP. And now it's kind of fast. <laughs> they made it fast. Uh, I guess people were kiting blue like crazy, huh? Is that what that was? That's probably the reason, right? Uh, Big Wolf, okay. They're doing it to literally everything where they're making the magic resist later a lot less. This one just straight up just has no magic resist now. But buffing the HP, nerfing the HP, right? Most of these are pretty pretty straightforward, right? They're making it easier to take camps now because camps are a lot harder to take before um, with the new item. So this is uh, now going to live. This is different from what we had on PBE. That's fine. It's good. All right. Shine gold. <laughs> um, so they made Krugs shiny. And they made it so that the big one is worth less, but the small ones are worth more. Because people would take the big and like the medium ones and then leave. But now, they're probably going to go for the small ones as well. Alright, Rift Scuttle. Less armor, less, mag 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 less magic resist, uh, less HP overall. Now it gives a shield, right? So before, it, was, it would have a bunch of uh, bonus armor and magic resist. Um, that was it, right? until it gets CC'd, right? And then it would lose that passive and then it would also take more damage. So now it's a 60% mana shield, which is fine. It also breaks when CC'd, which is also good. But it no longer restores health and mana, right? Just like we said before, um, now it's moved over to Gromp. Gromp may be a little bit more important now, who knows? Epic items, all right. So these are the items that build into the legendaries and the mythics they're pretty straightforward right bonus 20 damage to minions and monsters you're going to be seeing this on 80 carries you'll see this on uh ergot some junglers some 80 junglers Kane, right rage knife so this is the um, the gwinsu's crit change so applies 35 bonus damage on hit based on your crit chance but you can no longer crit this builds into the Gwinsus, yeah? This is like a mini version of Gwinsus that doesn't have the every three attacks, every two attacks on hit, okay? This builds into Gwinsus and the, I think that's literally it. That's all it does. Lighting Jewel, AP, Magic Pen. Cool, nice. Leeching Leer, so this builds into um, Om, what, what is it called? Sorry, who just went live? Thomas. Thomas just went live? Interesting. Okay, anyways, um, this gives Omni Vamp. Right? And it builds into uh, ri Rift. <laughs> what is it called? Rift something? I already forgot, dude. There's so many items. I, I know what they do. It's just that I forget the names, okay? Oblivion Orb, see? This has changed now. So instead of giving Magic Pen, it gives you uh, Grievous Wounds, which is nice. It's good. It's more accessible for mages now to uh, get Grievous Wounds. Before, uh, they had to build a whole Morellos to get that, which was, what, 3,200 gold, I believe? That's a lot of gold to just get Grievous Wounds. Or they could spend 800 on an AD item that they wouldn't be able to use very well. So, yeah. Seeker's Arm Guard, uh, they made it cheaper. So, originally it was 1,200 gold, now it's 900 gold. And, uh... It also gives armor which stacks, which is kind of weird. So 45 armor overall. Um, I don't know why they do the stacking thing. It's fine. Ah, whatever. Hextech Alternator. This is um what what is a small version of Hextech Gunblade? The little gun, Hextech Revolver, right? This is Hextech Revolver. 
They just changed it. Okay? It deals bonus damage on a 40 second cooldown. It's virtually the same. Okay? Onwards. Bomby Cinder. Uh, no longer does the explode one CC. Right? But it does better. It does more damage overall. Alright? Winged Moonplate. They changed this icon. Originally it was green. I don't like the red orange, to be honest. Because it gives movement speed, okay? It gives movement speed. Originally, I miss the old icon. I wish it was green, because green's more movement speed than, like, a blue. Like, a blue? I don't know. Red doesn't really scream fast, you know? Anyways. Verdant Barrier. So this gives, like, every 30 seconds, gain 3 magic resist. Max 15, so it stacks 5 times. And then taking damage from champions, taking magic damage from champions, reduces that time. And then it just, you know, it keeps going. Right? Okay, anyways. Warden's Mail. This is changed now, reducing incoming damage based on your bonus HP capped. Right? No longer does, does it slow attack speed. Alright, next. Phage. After you do physical damage to a champion, restore 2% or 1% of your max HP over 6 seconds. Good for HP stacking. Cool. Next. Hearthbound Axe. Right? So this is just the new phage. Okay? Gives you speed. <laughs> Next, Tiamat. It cleaves in an AoE. Next, Iron Spike Whip. So this is now the, the, the Tiamat active. So it cleaves. <laughs> and it also executes below. And it's affected by ability haste. Wow, cool. Next, Vandal Glass Mirror. It's just mana regen. And AP. It's just mana regen, okay? Next. All right. Oh, God. They went. Oh, Lord. Uh, Grievous Wounds shorter. Uh, Zeal is less expensive. More attack speed, less crit. Okay. Sheen no longer gives mana and CDR. That's it. All right. Costs a lot less gold, it's down 350 gold from before, so you could definitely pick it up more, but yeah. Giant Spelt, down 100 gold, now gives a little less HP. Uh, Negatron, more gold, more magic resist. This is cost more. They just made it cost more, I don't know. Uh, Aegis, more gold, <laughs> cost more gold. Quicksilver. And they, they just keep talking about Airborne, okay? You can't do it. You can't quit QSS getting knocked up anymore. Before you could and then use like a dash or use any kind of movement skill and you'd be able to QSS a, a knockup. But now knockups are stronger, right? Okay. Forbidden Idol. Um, cost is fine, okay? Heal and shield power is up, but there's no more CDR. All right, next. Cheer of the Goddess, new starter item, okay? Now you can start with tier. It costs 400 gold, 150 mana. Okay, now it deals five bonus physical damage to minions. So it helps you farm a little bit. Striking a target with an ability gives you mana. Okay, we covered this. Very cool. Dark Seal. Um, no longer gives uh, mana. Okay, so it's fine for Singed. Okay, and uh, but you lose out on the potions. Oh, <laughs> there's no more potions. Uh, this is mini Magi's now and not about... You know, double Dark Seal, triple Dark Seal on Singed anymore. There's no more potion thing. I'm sad. Um, maybe we, you pick it up if you're playing AP Singed and you're ahead, and eventually you build it into a Magi's or something. But now it's not that great. All right, onwards. Doran's Blade. Attack damage, health. And it gives you Omni Vamp, which they nerfed. Cool, right? 3%. Now it's 2.5, but it's Omni Vamp, so it works on spells. All right, next. Doran's Ring. So now this doesn't give mana anymore. And if you don't use mana, right, it also heals you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're full HP, or if you're full mana, sorry, if you're full mana, you heal. Okay? Instead. On it? Got it? Got it? Got it? Good. All right. Crit change. More mana regen. But cost double. Right, but it takes up less slots, right? Before you buy two of them and then you eventually upgrade. Now you buy one of them and it's the same as buying two of them because they just combined them. <laughs> I 
uh, less HP, less HP, less AP, less HP, less AP, less HP, less AP, less AD. Cool. All right. They just changed the name. All right. So, because a ninja tabby apparently granted dodge chance before, and that didn't really make sense when you're a ninja and you're getting hit and it reduces AD or reduces damage you take from autos. So they changed it to now be this. They, they just changed the name. It's the same thing. All right, removed items. Okay, so this is, a, this exists, right? Now a mythic item. All right. The, these are all like items that were shifted over into mythics. Okay, and you can see all of them. We talked about them. We mentioned it. Adaptive Helm was kind of OP and dumb. Okay, it was dumb against champions that it countered. A few champions, but to a major degree. So it would turn off Singe Poison, you know? So, goodbye. Thank God I accept it. Uh, I'm not going to miss you. I'm not going to miss Adaptive Helm, okay? Peace out, sucker. Alright, Athene's Holy Grail. Unholy Grail. Um, it would heal and stuff. Um, th th this kind of got split into like two different like legendary items. So I think it's fine if it's gone. I used to build it all the time on uh, ARAM because it would give you so much mana regen, right? And that was before Presence of Mind. But now with Presence of Mind, they did, which they also changed, which we'll go through later. Um, you know, it would be cool. All right. Frozen Mallet is gone. Void Boy complained about it. right very efficient gold efficient but they're, they're removing it it's gone goodbye i'll miss uh miss it um but not i i won't miss playing against it though it it sucked it was miserable you go against a gnar with frozen mallet or like a like a grasp senna with frozen mallet and then she just autos and yeah, what, what do you do it's like a storm razor like a weaker storm razor but she could constantly you know, like ugh. right hexet gunblade so this kind of got changed uh no longer uh will you um just kind of zap someone like a taser right you won't taser anyone with the hextech gunblade anymore but there's a lot of a uh, lot more chances of spell vamp and stuff now so that's the trade-off. I think it's fine. Um, I'll miss the taser. The taser was always fun to rush on Teemo. Uh, but goodbye. All right. Spellbinder. I think Spellbinder was such a weird item that like existed in such a weird spot. Because you had to use 100 spells for it to max out. Right? You didn't need to max it out, but you had to use 100. So that was just like, ah. Yeah. Only saw it on Vlad. I only ever saw it on Vlad. Rod of Ages, uh, I kind of, I'll, I'll miss it, but it didn't, I stopped using it, you know, after Singed Rework, I just stopped using Rod of Ages, um, now people would have gone it on, what, TF, Malzahar, people who needed to sustain a bit more, maybe like an Orianna mid, right, but, uh, it'll be missed, but it's definitely sort of expected. Static shave. So this is very, very uh, shocking for some people. Got it? And that was funny, right? That was funny. Um, but with shifting towards to be more visually clear and stuff, static shave was not good. Um, most people wouldn't even buy it. Honestly, I only ever saw it on Yasuo. And uh, even then, Phantom Dancer was just better. Uh, Twin Shadows. Uh, I agree that they say, that they were saying was too powerful and playstyle warping. Uh, I agree. You were able to, without vision, without wards, hunt down the two nearest people for free, and they would get slowed if they were too close. And too close, I mean, if they're on your half of the map. <laughs> so maybe this is warranted. And it was kind of, you know, right? Um, so these are just... The, the mini items, right? No more bilge water. They don't like the actives, right? Catalyst, this is gone. Uh, that's Omdi Vamp, right? Conqueror, all right. 
They're just making it nicer. They're making it nicer. Yeah, less sustain, more damage. Fine. Um, I probably still won't be running Conquer. I still don't really... I don't know. I used to run Conquer all the time on Singed. And then, like, after they changed it, I just could not pick it up again. It was really, really weird. Um, they're nerfing Bloodline, less lifesteal. Right, bias 3%. Ravenous Hunter. Um, now gives Omnivamp per stack. Less, less healing. Cool, next. On Presence of Mind. Um, damaging an enemy increases your mana regen. Okay. And then... Takedowns are store 15%. Before it was 20%. And it would give you mana. Or energy. But now it just gives you mana regen if you hit them. So if, you, if you're if you poking people, it's good. Okay? It's like a different version of mana flow band. Okay? This is fine. I think it's fine. This change feels good. Uh, I have no issues with it. Uh, onwards. Transcendence. Alright, so before it would just give you flat 10% CDR. Okay? That's it. And then it would convert it, the extra, to adaptive. Cool, right? Now, it gives 5 ability haste at level 5, and then more 5, another 5, and at level 11, it also reduces the cooldown of basic abilities by 20% on takedowns. This is kind of nice. I like this. Um, resetting and stuff? Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Um, Cosmic Insight, obviously, since CDR was changed um they have to <laughs> oh god i need to drink water they have to um change it and update it um but yeah they just update it to be more in line with uh, the haste ability haste this is the same thing yeah same thing, they just have to update cooldown reduction to haste. Every That's all they have to do, right? Time work tonic, oh no. Um, no longer puts the consumable on a short cooldown. If consumables are stacked, the instant restoration is applied after the duration. Um, before, you would have to tap and then wait like 10 seconds and then tap again. Now you can tap multiple times and it'll do the burst healing at the end of each time when it starts up again so this is fine um no issues this is this is like a quality of life thing yeah all right uh nerfing caitlin's headshot <laughs> headshot damage from crit because they're nerfing crit overall passive crit damage reduction and crit chance decreased okay so the no longer oh, okay uh-huh uh huh. All right. Still fine. Fine. Nice. Cool. That's fine. Uh, passive crit damage reduction, crit chance decreased. Now collects miss wraiths. Oh, did that not do that before? Okay. Huh. Uh, I mean, this is fine. Uh, they're just changing the crits. Okay. Now converting bonus crit chance. To bonus AD. Above 100% to bonus AD. This is nice. This is good for Yasuo, I guess. Right? Because now he needs three items for 100% crit. And then he would have a bonus amount of 20%. Right? He would have a bonus amount of 20% crit, so that turns into AD. So that makes sense, right? All right, let's see. Yon, passive now converts crit chance to bonus. Okay, this is the same thing. Uh, buffing Akali later in the game. Okay, I think that's okay. I don't have an issue with that. All right, Katarina, let's see. Passive E, R, now apply on hit effects. R now deals hybrid damage and scales with attack speed. So they're kind of like focusing her towards like an AD build, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, dude. Ooh. All right. 
bonus attack speed, now skills with AP. They want Kale to be less AD focused. People were building um, that lethality item, the lifesteal with the bonus attack speed. What is it called? <laughs> they were building AD Kale, okay? And they don't, Riot doesn't really want that, so they're adding a bonus 2% AP on her passive. So, Nasher's AP stuff. Nice, cool, Pogchamp. All right. Now, passive Living Forge. You can do all mythic items. Okay. Now upgrade mythics. Mm hmm Okay, so people you okay, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Um increased. Okay. Right. Okay. So th this is just like it's just adapting towards better stuff. Okay. Oh, this is a buff. Bonus 10% bonus HP. Um, or 10% bonus health. Before it was just armor and magic resist. Now it's all, health is put into the equation as well. Alright. Ord gains an additional 4% bonus HP. Armor. Magic resist for each mythic item he upgrades. So he's just going to get tankier. Okay. Sure. Um, Victor, what they changed essentially was they changed his passive so that he no longer has... Uh, a hex core in his inventory. They do want to free up a slot for more items. Um, and they're making it so that when you get, uh, let's see, hex fragments, okay? Five kills from large, large 25 champion, okay? Like stuff like that, you can upgrade. So it's sort of like Gangplank. It's sort of like Gangplank with his upgrading ult, right? But now it's upgrading the stuff, right? Yeah, cool. Next. Uh, they're just giving more mana to these champions. <laughs> well, what's this about? Why why did they choose this? Mana changes to items like Tear Sheen and Lich Bane, and the lack of mana on most mythic items. Are giving oh, okay. Yep, that's yep, 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 yep. Uh, brand. Uh, I think I talked about. Oh, never mind. What are they doing here? They're nerfing Brand. So his passive now burns less over. Right? It doesn't scale as hard. Okay. Uh, his E. Nerfing the cooldown. Adding two seconds to it. Wow. Okay. A Mumu. More HP. Less HP growth. Less armor. I guess he was a little strong, huh? Q now applies on hit. Sure. Okay. Less mana regen on Seraphin. I agree with this a lot. Seraphin was able to spam out abilities in lane, no matter where she was, and still be fine. Yeah. All right. Passive uh, scales better. Uh, I think early nerfing it like early is fine. I don't really care because you you don't have that much AP early anyway, so. Uh, they are... What are they doing here? More base damage on her Q later. And then it also scales better with AP overall. But they're nerfing it early. Okay. E. The damage is going up. Damage is also going up against minions. Huh. Okay, so this is, this is like a... Tr it's like buff nerfs, which is fine. Alright, Twitch. Um, dub, oh, that's why, that's why. Okay, so, there was an AP Twitch I had on my team. And I didn't know why. And now I know why. His passive now has a 3% AP damage per second, per stack. Max 108% AP, okay. So you build Nashers, build Rabadons, build, uh, maybe Gwinsus or something, right? Slow ratio is also based on AP, okay. Uh, e also scales with the AP now. Okay, well, chew. Woohoo. That's why I didn't know. Okay. Uh, Volleybear's passive now scales with AP. All right. Cool. And e, e deals more damage to minions later. Cool. Nice. Next. Um, all right. A ram. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. Uh, more gold from dead minions. Okay. Bonus gold, bonus kill gold, cannons no longer spawn? Oh wow. 
Wait. Oh, no longer... Ah? Uh, okay. No more cannons. That's kind of weird. Uh, guardian items now count as legendary. This makes sense. You can actually start a legendary item and... Or start one of the guardian items, like the the snow snow globe or whatever. Give back a decent amount of gold. Okay. Uh, damn. Yeah, they're just buffing it overall. Cool. Nice. Wow. Uh. Yeah, you can no longer buy oracles, but cannon minions that spawn and super minions now have umbral glades <laughs> blackout pass. Um, when they get near a trap, they'll they'll do the uh, the pink eye. Okay, that's it. They're also nerfing Seraphin. Yeah, they're nerfing Seraphin in ARM. That's fine. Okay, end of season. All right, today is the tenth. All right, we are in NA. It ended yesterday night. All right, we ended plot two. It's okay, dude. Uh, I I wasn't too too hung up about it. Okay, I started the season kind of weak, and then I didn't really adapt very well, so. Okay, here's the Victorious Lucian. Wow. And the, the Chromas, right? I played two games of, of, of Lucian mid with Lethality, which is cool. Uh, based on your honor level, okay, so honor three, you get a ward skin and three key shards. And this one, you get an emote. And this one, you get six. And, okay, well, I'm honor five, so I get... This emo and key shards. Cool. All right. Um, participated in Clash. We're also okay. Ranked updates. This preseason, we're making a couple updates on the Summer's Rift rank system to make sure the placement process and climb is as informed and intuitive as possible. Brand new accounts entering rank for the first time will now take into account additional variables to ensure a more accurate original placement. Um, we're removing promotion series. For inter division okay so no longer do you have to do promo silver 2 to silver 1 you know this means going from division 4 to division 1 will be automatic when you reach 100 LP nice any additional LP rolls into the next division nice consequently the motion protection for division will all be removed so you can go between any of them with no issues okay last but not least we're removing the ability to do a queue at ranks master and above right a duo abusing in high ranks were was kind of crazy apparently. Cool. Next. Um, fixing memory leaks. Next. Room page should now load faster. End screens should no longer freeze when getting back to the client. Oh my gosh! I I don't know how much time I've spent just waiting for the end of end screen lobby. It, it honestly takes like a minute or two minutes every single game. I've played so many games this season. Well, not a lot, but I've played a lot of games this season, and that's a lot of time, you know? Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. All right. Um, summoner spell, blah, blah, blah. Reduce memory links. Okay. Bug fixes. Cled now properly counts Scar's health. Scar's health is bonus health. Okay. These are just bug fixes. Cool. Next. Upcoming. Okay, Okay, so we covered this. Uh, we're definitely buying this when it comes out, okay? Uh, chromas, right? Yeah, chromas for everything, including singed. Oh, oh, I hope it's not too expensive. I hope it's like 20 bucks, okay? I can I can scrounge up 20 bucks. If it, if it isn't 20 bucks, then we might have to call it today. And that is the very end of this entire thing. This was apparently 14,000 words. I, don't, I didn't read all of it. I probably read like 6,000 of it i talked about it for quite a bit but this was two hours this is two hours of me just talking and my throat is completely gone now i am going to stay silent for the rest of the day <laughs> i'm not talking because i'm going to lose my voice but yeah if you enjoyed that please let me know um are you excited for season 11 are you are you disappointed did you did you think did you test it out on PBE? What do you think of the new shop? What do you think of the the new items? What do you think of uh where's Timo? Timo's in here. Timo's right there. There he is. What do you think of Timo hiding over here, being kind of sneaky, huh? What's he up to? Huh? What do you think of Katarina being super edgy? <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed that, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll outro, whatever, okay? Comment. Stuff, okay? 
I think we're almost, we're nearing like eight, I, I don't know, whatever, okay, I'm just blabbering, my brain is mush, my voice is gone, I, I'm, I'm like, there's boogers all over my keyboard, I'm just smearing it in right now, like, everything is a mess right now, so I'm gonna call it, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great time on the new Summoner's Rift, exploring the new items and new changes, peace out.